And I think we're going to look back on this, and it's not going to be this sort of like, that was the era of software, or 2015 was like you know, the kickoff of when software started eating the world, and then you had this like 10-year golden period, and then we moved on to the next fancy technology. I think like the ways in which software is going to, the way in which software is going to change our lives and our society, we, we don't even know yet. We've got no idea, and I really can't predict yet, and because the way it's going to change us is going to be non-linear. It's not going to be like we have a car today, and in the future it's going to fly. It's going to be more like we have these machines today, and in the future we're always going to be connected to the entire world in our pockets. And it's hard for us to make those sorts of leaps because it's not linear from the first microchip to an iPhone in your pocket with LTE, but when those things come together, when those technologies come together, what you get out of it isn't an iPhone in your pocket or an Android in your pocket with LTE. It's being connected to the world and to your family and to everyone. And like all of a sudden we wake up, it's 2017. Most people have a smartphone. The world has changed. Fake news, da da da. Like it's impacting the way we talk to each other and we experience the world around us. And we just started. Like software just got here. And we have this amazing sort of this, uh, exhibit that's going to open soon. And one of the big things I saw was about Ada Lovelace, who died in 1852, I think. And so like, on the, I have these two thoughts that come through my head. One is like, holy crap, we're talking about software, and there's exhibits from the 1800s. Isn't that amazing? And then the other side of it is like, how old is this planet? Four billion years old. How old is human civilization? When did we start farming, to bring it back to Chow? And like, we just got software. Software just arrived. And so the idea that we have any idea, like we know what it's going to do to us, like, it's already changed the world how many times and in how many different ways, and it just got here. And so what is software gonna do in 10 years? I don't, I don't know exactly, but I know it's going to only become a more positive force in the world. And so what I'm trying to do and what GitHub is trying to do is give more people access to that power and to that software, give more people agency over it. 